Check it out. We got a cool new toy to play with today. So Adam Starr sent me a digital microscope to play with. Now, I have multiple units already. I have this USB one that I use during my live broadcasts. And then I have this true trinocular monster here that I use for all my hands-on soldering. I wanted to give one of these display style ones a try now that supposedly the quality has come up on these that the lag is virtually non-existent. We're going to find out today. We'll see. Is this usable to solder under? So pretty cool little uh, instruction book here with all the basics. Base, light, height adjust. Not much to it. UV filter. Looks like you got to stick it on. Quick start guide. Yeah, not much to it. Let's get it all out. If you're a maker or electronics enthusiast, make sure you check out PCB Way. They can make any circuit board you desire, provide the parts, and even assemble the board for you. They now offer fully transparent tracking on your order so you can see where your project is at from start to finish. Everything's packaged just fine, no issues. Oh, I think I'll just set everything up and then I'll cut back. The packaging here, although kind of sparse feels good like this seems like an okay kit i'm already getting the impression that i kind of like it so this is the display unit this weighs nothing man that's light huh interesting button feel is fine interesting all right we got things together this is pretty cool i like this unit already one thing i don't fully understand maybe you can help me in the comments down below this uv filter they keep referring to putting it on the lens on the lens cap and I, I can't make heads or tails of that it makes no sense to me that you would put put this half transparent on the lens cap when this is one piece? Oh, it does come out. Derp. Never mind. Okay. So you put that on, and then you have a UV filter. Uh, I don't know that we need that. Let's try it without it. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll play with it later. I, yeah, post a comment down below if you know why that's there. What we need a UV filter for on this. Um, I know most cameras have a UV filter, but... Okay, we're plugged in. We're alive, and then we can adjust. Ooh, everything's alive. Nice. We can adjust our intensity of our LEDs. I like these. I like these very much, actually. Check this out. Something that you can adjust your intensity as well as get the aim just perfect. So we can dim it right down. It is in steps, but that's fine. And yeah, that's working. So, let's see if the camera is working. Let's see. Can we focus? I didn't tie this down. It's just got thumb screws, and I didn't get wild with them. And this should be right on the limit of our focal range. And, oh, look at that. Tack. Tack sharp. Wow. That is crazy tack sharp so if we go that is in that is out so down is outward five is the highest that's all the way in and the focal distance changed because the paper wasn't sitting just flat and my i don't have I don't have this tight at the, the adjustment screw tight at the back, so it's sort of freewheeling here and, and changing our focus. So let me tighten that down. Let's get it in place. I'll turn this around so you can see it. It's just nice, nice adjuster and a lock screw there. So pretty simple. I think once you're in the zone, I don't think you're going to have to adjust that much. So 
how high can we have this and still work? Because what's critical with a microscope is being able to work underneath it. So if I go, that's pretty much most of the way up. Can we still focus? Yep, tack sharp, tack sharp. And that is as zoomed as it gets right there. So that's pretty cool. That's, that's pretty small font. You can't hardly see it. So what we'll do, is I'll maybe see if I can get a micro SD card set up and we'll see what the video quality looks like. So I'm already finding that's moving around. That's our whole mass moving. So I'll tighten that up and I'll tighten up these thumb screws even more holding the actual camera and now let's see very little movement that's totally acceptable that's absolutely fine and tack sharp still why does it wander that's weird when you focus the image shifts from top to bottom I'm not used to that though. It's the optics. It's not actually the lens moving or not, not the camera moving. That's kind of weird, but truthfully, I don't know how big of a deal that'll be. So let's get some electronics under here and see what we're working with. So now our focal distance is going to be way off because we're closer. And there we go. Let's get you a little better view. I want to try to capture this with the camera as best I can, like from the operator's point of view. And okay, so there's no lag. There is no perceptible lag, none, which that's what I would expect for a live display, but you never know. You guys know me, I'm always a little bit of a cynic until proven otherwise, so. Yeah, if we zoom back out, there's a larger overview. This is a, uh, an Arduino uh, Nano 33 BLE, and I like it. So that's without light on anything, hardly at all. So if I turn these LEDs to be on the board from both sides, so we don't have much for shadows, Man, that is slick. That is sharp. It's not a huge display. And what I'm finding now is there's a weakness. The angle of the display. This workbench I have is at my waist height thereabouts. And I work on the bench here and this is not suitable unless I crouch down. So I need this up another foot to be useful for me, which is actually about the height that my trinocular microscope would be at. So uh, we'll call that a push. That's not a really a weakness. Like you should expect to have to bring this up and not work on it at table level all the time um, that's normal like my big trinocular I'm gonna need to um, it, it, it's gonna be at that height so interesting okay well let's see if maybe I can get uh, an SD card and we can play around cool so I've gone ahead and got an SD card we can do HD or FHD. I don't know what FHD is, but I'm sure HD is fine. Image quality. Oh, we're not doing images. So we won't worry about that. We'll leave it on auto white balance. EV is zero. We won't do anything there. We can do calibration, language setting. Flicker is set to 50 hertz. Let's move it to 60 for here. We'll hit format on the TF card, hit OK. 
and then we should be able to hopefully start capturing some video. And if we hold down that, might have to play around. How do we capture video? Oh, here we go. Are we live now? Yep. Hmm. Maybe not so intuitive after all. There, we hit OK on that. Now we're recording, supposedly. OK. Let's see. Man, that's tack sharp. I like that display. This is really probably not showing you how good this truly is. No, it's not. Videoing a screen with a screen, <laughs> taking pictures of a, a screen with a camera is never good, but it is tack sharp. I, I like that. That is really good. And these movable lights, I kind of like them. So I'm already kind of getting the impression that this is possibly a serviceable unit. Let's maybe see if we can uh, See what we can do under it. Okay, I've gone ahead and set up just an old USB drive of some form. That is, what are they? Mm, 0402, I think. Might be 0603. I think they're 0402 components. Pretty small stuff. And we'll just see if we can uh, record this and get something off there. Time will tell. You can't say with just a one-time use on a bench on how this is going to go, but um, zooming right in now, you can see where the component was that I took off. I was doing that at almost no zoom level and tons of room here to work underneath. I have all of this head space here to get my hot air rework gun in there and work with it, which is kind of the key is having the ability to, to work under here. Um, and manipulate with your iron in there, no problem. Tons and tons of room. I'll have to play around with the this UV filter and see whether that improves the clarity even further. But as an initial test, I'm I'm thinking this is a okay. I I'm highly impressed. Uh, would I trade my trinocular? No. But would I start with this? instead of the trinocular if my budget was looking for something like this absolutely uh, the usb one i tried initially for surface mount totally useless too much lag couldn't do it this i'm liking it i think they did pretty good here uh, is it the best thing since sliced bread mm, debatable but does it do the job absolutely what i've seen today uh, this might even have a room on my bench. I, I'm hard pressed to give up my full optical, but this this has a place. And I'll try with the live output to OBS and I might just retire the old USB one because this one is a way better camera. Without a doubt, the image quality is significantly better. So yeah, uh, you guys let me know what you think. Cheers guys.